Mm. That's drunk. Earlier this week, I took a look at the Demolition Man games for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, and they're serviceable, regular old run-and-gun games that are perfectly decent playthroughs, albeit with a fair share of flaws, with the added bonus that it manages to represent the source material nicely as well. Unfortunately, a few comments asked, what about Cliffhanger? Well, in my opinion, Cliffhanger is one of those movies that goes back and forth between being a pretty good thriller, as the opening scene indicates, and being one of the best comedies of the 90s, albeit unintentionally. Let's see, we've got Sly doing Sly things, which is good, but then you've got Michael Rooker screaming his face off in every scene he's in. You've got John Lithgow chewing the hell out of the scenery since she's such a clever bastard. You've got the character Travers incapable of saying one sentence without cursing, which seriously cracks me up. And of course, you've got your typical action movie ridiculousness, like Sly Stallone being able to survive overnight at 8,000 feet wearing only his trusty sweater. Once again, since it's Stallone, we get a boatload of video games on everything from Amiga, NES, Game Boy, Game Gear, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, and Super Nintendo. You may get your hopes up when playing the Super Nintendo edition since you see the Sony ImageSoft logo right away, and they've made some pretty good games in the past, but they're merely the publisher. This game was made by Malibu Interactive, who also claim Wings 2, Aces High, and Three Ninjas Kick Back to their resume, two strongly, aggressively mediocre games. Sadly, Cliffhanger for Super Nintendo is much worse than mediocre. It's a beat-em-up that kinda sorta follows the story of the movie. You start out with Stallone running around in a t-shirt in the snow in the mountains. Who does he think he is, Bud Grant? Within about four seconds, you get the gist of what this game is about. You get two enemies on screen at once, they slowly leer at you as you hope to somehow make contact with them before they make contact with you, rinse and repeat. But oh look, you get to jump over something here, how about that? Ooh, now you've got a dude in the red jacket instead of green. Just a multitude of enemy variety engulfs your senses. Oh man, now we gotta jump over another pit? And then we got a guy in a red shirt? But then the game really gets clever by making you jump over two pits. See, the level design is brilliant here since it builds up your confidence by jumping over just one pit to start, but then they up the ante. It really helps you get comfortable with jumping. Yeah, no, this game is dreadfully boring, and I'm just trying my best to make it at least seem kinda sorta interesting, which it isn't. Cliffhanger does at least have you replenish your health by sitting at a campfire, then it throws you a major curveball by having you climb stuff. And it's somehow even more dull and lifeless than what you'd been doing before. You just hold the up button, absorb damage, it doesn't matter since there's another campfire up there anyway. You get to the top, and then you're outrunning an avalanche and jumping over stuff. So yeah, there's your game. Boring beat-em-up stuff, boring climbing stuff, and boring running stuff. Man, what is with Stallone's running animation? He almost runs like Tina Belcher. I will say for what it's worth, the Sega CD version of Cliffhanger has an over-the-shoulder snowboarding mode in place of this part, and it looks, uh, not terrible. There's six total levels to slog through here, and you get three lives and five continues with no saves or passwords, not that you'd want any. The controls are what you'd expect in a game like this, albeit with A as jump, and it does let you double tap left or right twice so you can speed up this misery. You have a whopping two weapons to help you, a gun and a knife. Come on, I want to chuck some fire at a dude from the campfire, or stop an avalanche by telling it that I am the law! Oh, sorry, that's the wrong movie. You use the L or R buttons to use a special sweep kick move, but it uses up part of your health, and that's a problem because the hit detection in this game sucks out loud, so you're gonna get cheap shotted left and right as you progress. So yeah, that's all I got with this one. I mean, I guess you do get to fight a helicopter at the end of the game, which is pretty hilarious, but then you'd have to suffer through six levels of tedious, boring, and slow gameplay. It can't be overstated how freaking slow and tepid the gameplay is here. Reviews at the time of this game's release called this one a poor Double Dragon clone, but that's being way too kind. At least Double Dragon clones try to make the combat interesting, and sometimes they try to implement some kind of block or parrying system, unlike this game, but at least Electronic Gaming Monthly was kind enough to warn people back in the day by naming Cliffhanger the worst movie game of 1994, calling it, quote, a truly disgusting piece of software. But hey, that didn't stop programmer Chris Shrigley, who worked on the Sega Genesis version of this game, which, by the way, is pretty much the same as the Super Nintendo edition, from making the source code of the Genesis game public. It's as if to say, don't do what I did, kids. Stay in school, don't make a game like Cliffhanger, and do not ever play a game like Cliffhanger. Avoid this game. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.